Hello people, hello world, hello YouTubers, hello people that follow or subscribe to me. Uh, today's Saturday the 13th. I just want to give a, just a quick update of everything. Uh, last weekend was the bank holiday, as we all know in the UK, it was a bit wet. And we're not too sure, it's been a bit wet the last week. Um, so I thought I'd take a, a look around. Um, as yet, I've not done the bar or jet washed. It's not been really nice enough really. So if we just take a look at uh, what's going on here. Torbay Dazzler, that's um, not too sure. It's uh, it's still there, it's not pulled. So uh, keep my fingers crossed on that one. Um, over here, under the shade, to keep it dry, it's been raining a lot. This shamrock, shamrocks is like, oh, let's move this out of the way. This shamrocks did pull. Um, I'll keep looking to, for green. I mean, there is some green on the stem there. Um, so, it's out of the, uh, of the rain anyway to keep dry. This Restrata here, I've got a good price um, because it wasn't doing, looking so well. So this I'm keeping dry. I think it may have got too wet. So it's under my canopy and I've got a little bubble wrap over it in case it rains. So it stops the rain getting in on it to keep it dry. I think it may have got wet, too wet, wherever it was. The place I bought it from was a sort of a farm stroke nursery, so it could have been outside for a long time in a wet. Um, these shamrocks here, I've showed you these before, these are pulled. Um, they're under the canopy again to keep dry. Um, I keep tugging at them, but nothing seems to be coming away. Everything seems to be sort of green, there's a bit of brown there. But again, it's just a case of I'm just keeping them under the canopy. Uh, when it's sunny, I take them out so the sun gets on it. That's my shamrocks there. This cord line here is growing from the middle. I don't think there's any issues with that one over there at all. This one over here, uh, in the middle, uh, you won't be, able, won't be able to see it, but when I poke all this back, there's green underneath there. So that's a good sign. And um, I'll come back just to train a minute. This one over here, again, um, it's got this, it's, it hasn't pulled, it's got this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's brown st stuff here. I keep pulling at it, it never comes away, so I have to see what happens really. Just see. Waiting game. I uh, stopped using the, the peroxide stuff. I've got some um, fungus spray, which I just sprayed, I just used, I've sort of been doing it once a week to see if that helps. Yeah, this is a tray of canners. I never had canners before, these are uh, my first attempt. Uh, I've been them out in nice when it's nice and sunny. Um, they've not been out overnight. They're sort of popping their heads in. I don't know anyone experienced with canners tell me should I plant these out or just keep them in the trays until they get a bit uh, a bit bigger. But I have some more canners we're not even doing now. I'll show you them in a, in a minute. So um, yeah, so along here I've got some different e bulbs really to have some colour some bulbs coming through here. All these planters here are ready for, can for the canna lilies. So I'll just go on this one here now. They've got some more bulbs in there. Just add a bit of colour. Oh, it's all too green. I said I'm waiting to clean this and un unwrap it. Uh, spiders, we're doing fine. Monsters here is doing fine. Um, this was given to me, as I said before. I have no idea which one it is. Since my last video to now, this has bloomed, and that's it. <laughs> Got new growth coming out. There's the other spiders. Web. This is my newish uh, cord line, which I replaced one that uh, that died. Um, another fortune is okay. I just step in here. I've got some Passeria here, red drag, uh, purple fantasy, this one over here. Uh, and I've got the red dragon version over here, if you can see. So I planted some bananas here last week when the sun was out. Planted one here. That's Deponicus over here doing, this is okay. This large one seems to be doing okay. This canary, date palm, right, well, not too sure what's going on with this. Um, this was wrapped up. There is a bit of brown there. 
nothing's really pulled. I suppose it's just waiting for a bit of sun and warm weather to help it along, really. I've got some other plants I've got here. I'm not sure how to pronounce these. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so I've got one there and I've got one there, different version there. I'm waiting for that to get a bit bigger. Uh, that definitely have some colour. And that's the same there as a different version. They're not doing so well, that one. This waggy here. Um, there's something going on there. I tried pulling it's okay, but I don't know what's going on there. To be honest with you, on that waggy. I'll just take a walk around the back. This is the Fortuni, which you've seen before. And also, again, I don't know what happened to this Fortuni. They're supposed to be hardy, aren't they? They're tough as boots, is the quote, but I'm not too sure. There is one. It is green, the rest is browned off. The other banana plant I planted here. And the other thing to point out is this waggy. This waggy here. Just had a pull. So I just had a pull, this particular waggy. Um, and when I went looking in it, there's uh, wood lice in there, I suppose, eating away all the rubbish, I guess. But I just sprayed it with this fungus stuff. Um, it looks, I mean, that new growth there looks pretty green, so I don't know. So, any experienced people tell me, should I worry about that? I mean, it did pull. Uh, again, waggy, I thought it would be hard as nails. Um, but this looks quite green. If anyone can tell me any different would be great. Um, I did plant some bulbs along here to give colour. Um, something's poking through. The rest are so I'm not very good with bulbs, but don't. So this canary date palm here is another one that I did protect. Uh, so I just get over a cold as well. I did protect. It, it does look a bit dry here, but nothing's pulling. So I guess it's just waiting for the sun and more heat. Another fortune I hear is multi trunked. There's more per red dragons I put at the back there. These japonicas looks okay. And I've got down here, if you can see, Salvia Armistice I've got there. I should have purple leaves actually. Here's a, another fortune I've got some spears poking through. Yeah, just waiting for, uh, I fed them, it's just waiting for some decent sun for a long period of time, I guess. So that's the shot over here so yeah the red dragon I put in here I think two weeks ago when we had a bit of nice weather uh, just gonna move around the camera a bit same with these uh, banana plants I put them here a couple of weeks. Well, we had a bit of spell for about five days of nice weather that's when I decided I did climatize these they just come out every day not overnight it's been overnight now for a week um, they seem to be doing okay we've had a lot of rain I know they like a lot of water There's the other red dragon. I said in this raised bed I, I put some bulbs along the sides of the back just to add colour but uh, you can see the back shooting up and nowhere else. So just and obviously over here on the other corner <coughs> I put some more salvia, I've got the same salvia there. It looks like it's been eaten. So it's been, looks like someone's been eating the leaves there. So we have a look across, just take it across here. Sorry about the camera work. <laughs> this cord line here, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've always said in the last videos, <laughs> see what happens. It's still hanging in there. Uh, I sprayed it, as you can probably see, it's bubbling away. And also, if I just go down the bottom, there's a new growth poking up there. I don't know if you can see it, that's there. But this is still hanging on in there, it's not sort of collapsed yet. What I may do is chop the top off and replant this with a new growth somewhere else and put another cord line. I got a spare cord line I bought a while ago. But if you look at uh, this have a look at the tips obviously on the fortuni and the waggies they all got the brown tips because they're all 
suffered a little bit from winter. They're all waiting for, I guess, the, the heat. But I have fed them. I fed them Palm Booster. And I gave them seaweed liquid as well. Let's go to the middle. There's some changes to the middle. As you can see, Caucasia Pink China. Now, this was on my windowsill for ages. And I brought them out every day in the sun. And I had two leaves, got four leaves. And um, yeah, as I planted it out, I just tried the one. This leaf's unfolding. Um, as you can see, isn't that it's all pink? There's the next leaf going to come from there, I guess. That's where they come from. I said, since I planted it for a couple of days, and the weather changed a bit, but the temperature's still in double figures. I'm contemplating putting the other banana here. There's the other banana here. Again, crocosmia is only for my crocosmia. There's nothing, no sign of anything. <laughs> it's called lines okay. It's just got the rust, which I guess it just needs a bit of warm weather. Uh, so there's a couple of bulbs, some lilies. Uh, I planted two, has popped up. What I have realised, I should have planted them more than two. I know that next time. Let me feel a bit of colour. There's some more red dragons I put in the front there. These are from last year. I had these from last winter in a pot. They survived. I planted them in and they're growing now. Again, cross cosmic cross cosmics are popping up. I can't see any there at all. This fortuna is okay. It's got some new growth popping through. Again, the wind has damaged the leaves. Tips a bit brown. Again, waiting for the sun. We all are. So, uh, then there's the, some more purple fantasies at the front here. And I've got the salvia at the back there. So the idea is to bring colour rather than all this green on these palms. This cord line, as I said before, has a tendency to lean to the left. But it seems to be okay. I mean, just lean to the left. Got some ferns at the bottom. And let's go to this one. This was the biggest uh, Canary Day Prime I had last year. It was under the canopy, wrapped up, Aries Brown. Now, I keep tugging at the thing, but nothing's pulling. I keep waiting to see if there's any green bits coming up. So, I'm not too sure if it's just me wishing there's green or there is green. But again, I'll leave it and see, because uh, I've got nothing to replace it right now. If I do, it'll be another Fortuna, I reckon. Um, to put in there, and there's my fortune out there. You can see, so that's what's going on here. Just waiting for the bulbs to pop, pop up to give it a bit of color, really. I put these little ornaments out and the solar lights out because we had that nice little bit of weather. They're all empty, waiting for these uh, canna lilies to pop up. Grass is nice and green and long because it's bringing non-stop for about a week so yeah so uh, so the wagyu that's over there pulled um, any comments on that I, I, I put the fungus thing in there today uh, the other spears all look nice and green where the spear pulled there was all this wood lice I suppose they're just eating away the rubbish um, yeah and that canary date palms don't look happy particularly one in the middle the other two i believe are just waiting for a bit of sun and a bit of heat to come along for a bit of consistency so we've had this about all five days of nice weather uh, then it stopped then another bit a couple of days of nice weather but the last week since the coronation really last weekend it's been wet hence the grass is all nice and green this is a spare cord line i got for 10 pounds which will go over there which that one, I said, it's been hanging on in there for ages, but it's got new growth. As I said, what I may do is chop the top off, replant the group growth somewhere else, and that in its place. So, yes, yeah, talking about cannolis, I've not had experience with cannolis before. I've uh, just potted them up in these trays lightly. Uh, when the sun's been out, uh, I, I bring them out in the sun for nice and warm. I just brought them out now um, for the sake of this video, really. They are sort of the eyes, I believe they're called. Uh, and some are popping through. Uh, some, some aren't. 
so I don't know, that's my experience, I don't have any experience with those, it's my first time having a go. So I brought out another tray of uh, canners, um, obviously there's a little bit poking through it, it could have been like that when I got it actually, another one's poking through, the rest, uh, like this black one here, I can see the eye, but nothing else, and I can see the eye on this one here, nothing else, that's a Tropicana apparently, or will be. So anyone got experience on these canners, it'd be great just for some input. I said I've got these in trays. Um, when it's nice and sunny, I bring them out in the sun. It goes indoors at night time. I give them a light bit of watering. Same with the ones in the pots. They go out and the sun's out. In the sun, I give them a little bit of light watering. And I've got another four of these in the house. So uh, any guys are great on that. It's just my canner lilies. I know they look spectacular when they uh, grown and stuff and I know the other thing is a can of lily virus which I have no experience on at all but yeah so this is so far what he's looking like what I'm waiting for really is the bulbs to pop up to give it some colour um, and then obviously banana plants to grow a bit and then I'm hoping that uh, the two back canary date palms will be okay and start growing properly once the sun's out and the one in the middle I'm not too sure but if that's naff, if that's, I'll just take it up and uh, maybe not right now, but uh, I'll just replace it with an, another Fortune Eye. So let's take a look at the front. There's no real big change to the front. Uh, the two pots, the bulbs haven't popped through yet. Um, on the Shamrock's the one on the end over there that had a pull today. But the new spits, the new growth, all look green. So they're all double trunked anyway so any comments that'd be great all nice and green some spears are pulling coming through since i've planted them i'm waiting for the pots plant i'm waiting for some color again all two nice there hanging in there so nothing else is going on from there i may if nothing happens those bulbs up because they may not survive last year so i may just pull the pots away just like the colorful pots that's all yeah so eventually when the sun's out consistent for a bit of a long time i'll unwrap the bar Give everything a clean. The, the, the top needs cleaning, needs jet washing. The bar will be out, the seats will be out, uh, etc. But we're all waiting, aren't we? We're all waiting. Uh, my apologies for being a bit bunged up. I'm just getting over a sort of a head cold. But yeah, everything's green. So I'm just waiting for some, some bulbs to pop up and stuff to give a bit of colour. Um, I've got bulbs all along that back fence, but not come up yet. A bit too early for them, I think. Uh, bulbs in the middle to give a colour. Hopefully, the canners will go. My idea was to give colour there, mainly to hide next door neighbour's fence. Uh, I've got some stuff hanging on there to give a bit of colour, and I've got some stuff here, fuchsias, just to give it a bit of colour. The cosmi is a poke, poking through in this pot here. Again, just a bit of colour because everything's a bit green. Oh, right, if you've got any comments, be please be, be grateful to hear um, about comments on these. Uh, especially my wagon, a bit concerned about my wagon that pulled because uh, I thought they were going to be pretty tough uh, I've had them, definitely had it for a year, it was in a pot I repotted it, I took out the pot and put it in the ground a little while ago like I did with everything in the back there uh, I'm not too concerned too much about the brown tips on these uh, on these palms because I know that's all mainly to do with the fact that winter and it needs a bit of heat and sun but I have fed them um, so yeah, that's it really Thank you for watching, any comments appreciated. Uh, take care, I'll catch you next time. Bye.